Hello, hello, and welcome back to some more uh, MTGO magic. Uh, today, I'm trying something a little different. I'm doing a little bit of modern. My uh, my LGS is doing a big modern tournament, uh, so I figured I'd put together a modern deck um, that I've used in the past, kind of. This was based off of Magic Aids. Um, well, this is this is Magic Aids. Um, $40 cookbook reanimator combo deck um so basically the whole point of it is to get asmoran however you pronounce her name out there get the cookbooks out and do the overchase daredevil thing uh asmoran is there to really deal with creatures and just kill them the cookbook and overchase are there to make the food tokens which you can sacrifice with as uh, the rest is all for reanimators and getting her out, getting um, Asmoran out there, right? So uh, Street Wraith is there, so you can turn one, get Asmoran out. Uh, Bone Shards is there in the event that you need to go ahead and do something uh, to get them out. Really, our payoffs are going to be uh, Sierra's emiss Emissary, uh, which is you know pretty good card. Uh, second of all is Trasodon. Um, probably really good if you have three or more food tokens uh, because you can sacrifice the food tokens with the ETB and get, was it like 17 power on the board really quick? Uh, and then Sundering Titan to just really, really, really um, mess with them. Uh, Chancellor here is just there for a little extra mana or if you can't find any other reanimate targets. You can hit it there. Um, the entire deck for MTGO, uh, including sideboard, was about $10. Uh, so it's super, super cheap. I think when I was making it in paper, it was around $40. Uh, I don't know what the prices are like currently today. Uh, maybe it's something I can look into putting the notes. I'll see if I remember to do that. Um, sideboard has some just I, I don't know how up to date this is the video I'm looking at was from August of 21 um, so not that far uh, long ago but enough to have a meta shift um, you know we got the Neil spell bomb uh, right here to exile other graveyards the Phyrexian revoker to prevent some graveyard hate, Voidmere to counter things like, I guess, Tron maybe. Uh, the Crypt, also a little bit of graveyard hate. Uh, protection from green and red. Um, some land hate. And then we got, uh, let's see here. Oh, um, tribal hate. So, fuck you elves. Um, duress, and then this is against storm and spell slingers, right? It's going to cost them one extra to play. Uh, so this is kind of it. Uh, I'm going to jump into a modern league, and we'll see what happens. Okay, we have gotten into a game with the re and oh, not a very nice hand. We have ways to get our big payoffs into the graveyard, but nothing to do early. Uh, so let's mulligan this. Uh, we have Asmoran, Overchase, the Chancellor. Oh, Chancellor's in hand. Is there a way for us to get... I don't think there's a way for us to get uh, Asmoran out there. Uh, right, because we would have to bone shards, which we can't even do. Let's mulligan one more time. Okay. How can we do this? I, I want to keep this hand. We have to put two away. How can we do this? Sorry for... It's been a long time since I played this. Uh, so we could actually turn one, put the cookbook out. Okay. 
Okay. Um, put the cookbook out there. We can't cycle this, unfortunately. Uh, so let's just... Dump two swamps and say we're done. Well, wow. yeah. Okay. So turn zero, we can at least underworld cookbook. Maybe if we draw something that'll allow us to cycle out, we can play it as Marian. Oh, I'm completely dumb. Oh, no. Esper Sentinel, gross. And we got the overchased Daredevil. Nice, okay. So we get one green mana added to our pool to play the cookbook. So let's just cast the cookbook. Uh, let them draw their one. Okay, so pre comment main phase. Uh, so let's put that out there. Discard a card, create a food. Oh man, okay. <laughs> yes, we're going to use this ability. Let's go ahead and play Asmaran. Yes, we're going to use that ability to go get another cookbook. Okay, off to, I think, a perfect start. Stoneforge Mage and his Belfield. Okay, so this is hammer time. Uh, how many food tokens is it to kill the thing? Two. Okay, so we can kill Stoneforge Mystic next turn. If we get some bone shards, we can kill two targets instantly. Upkeep draw. Oh, uh, it's a swamp. Uh, right. So let's go ahead and tap. Play the cookbook. Yeah, we're going to play the one. Pre-combat main phase. Uh, discard card. We'll discard the Chancellor. Discard card, create a food. And let's uh, always yes to that ability. Okay, and then so... Um, wait, hold on. Oh, yeah. Yeah, fuck that. We're going to kill the mystic. Uh, yeah, let's attack. There's no reason to not attack. Next turn, we can kill the Esper Sentinel. Okay, so far, things are going kind of in our favor. Let's see what they do. Okay, so who? what are they going to exile... Okay, they're going to, what is this again? Exile, target card from a graveyard, put a plus one, plus one. Okay. So they're just going to exile a bunch of things. Beginning of combat. 
Is Esper Sentinel going to swing? Because I would. Okay. Bone Shards? Terastodon. Uh, let's just play it as a land. Is it from any graveyard? It is. So we kind of have to protect... I said yes. Okay. Uh, so let's just keep taking out threats. Cancel that. I hate the Esper Sentinel. We'll attack again. All right, what's nice is here we're able to take out the threats before they get too big. It is taking me a while. I'm just piloting this deck for the first time on MTGO. Oh, no. Oh, they're getting rid of a cookbook. Okay. I thought they were going to get rid of Asmoran. Oh, they can't because it doesn't have a mana value. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, so there's another Stoneforge Mystic. And they can't equip things, which I think is good. So I think we have to kill the Stone Forge. They have one plane, so they could do something about it. Uh, let's see, we had three land in total. Let's see, are they going to fuck our graveyard? They are. Okay. That's fine. I'm still going to hit that. Right? The Mystic is what makes their deck work. We don't want to deal with that. Uh, Let's cycle a card. Swamp. Okay. What sucks now is it's going to take us a bit. Oh, a Ragavan. No. <laughs> Are they going to equip the Sash to the Ragavan? Or are they going to pull from the top? What did they get? Yeah, he created a treasure token. I thought he got something from us. All right, and then here. Let's just make a food token. Okay, he's going to take it. I figured as much. I'm not going to attack right now at this point. Oh man, he just hates our. <laughs> He's, I mean, I, I would hate on my graveyard too. So we need artifact hate. 
What's nice is next turn we should still be able to... Oh my god, another Stoneforge Mystic. He probably is going to be able to do the ability, right? Oh no, he can't. We can still kill the Stoneforge Mystic next turn. That'll be three Stoneforge Mystics we've killed. Ooh. I think we have to... I think if we don't do this, I think we lose. Right, we need to keep the Stoneforge Mystic down. Or else he's just going to be able to attach all that stuff in his hand for free. If I was him, I'd be buffing this lion sash. I don't know why he's not doing that right now. There he goes. When this enters the battlefield, you may search your library for a creature card with mana value one or less. Reveal it, put it into your hand. Sacrifice it. Can't cast non-creature spells this turn. Neat. Fervent Champion. And then, okay, and then another Esper Sentinel. Okay. Yeah, I was going to say, like, you can, you can easily attack me. I wish I had a way to make more foods. I ran out of gas. This kind of stinks. Now he's going to exile something else from the graveyard, right? I'm, I think I'm dead here. <laughs> yeah, he has to hard cast it. Uh, going to put it on the fervent champion. Yep. Yes, he is. What's Sword and Fire do again? Damn. I think he's got it. Yeah, he's he's got it. Because I don't think I can block... What was that attack all button? Yeah, I can't block. Begin sideboarding. Okay. Let's see. Revoker enters. Oh. Yeah, let's put this in. Protection from red and green. He doesn't really have red and green. Well, he has a red. Should we target non basic land? 
Uh, whenever opponent casts a spell, counter unless they pay one. And that's a bit of a stretch. Void mirror. Uh, that's not really it. Non-creature, non-land. Okay. All right. Uh, so what comes out? Uh, let's get rid of the chancellors. Uh, the two two Tracidons. And an unmarked grave. Uh, I want another Tarasidon. I'll get rid of two unmarked graves. Yes, I would like to go first, please. Two Asmorans and a way to get them out. We will keep this. Or at least a way to get one of them out. This is the kind of opening hand you want, right? Because you can turn one... Get the cookbook. And then play the cookbook on turn two. Okay. So let's cycle the Street Wraith. Oh, and the Persist. Very nice. Right, so we're cooking now. Yes, we're going to use the ability to go get the thing. Okay. All right, so we need to draw two more mana. And the reason I'm saying that is so we can unmark grave and persist at the same time. Fervent champion, no. Go ahead, fight. Hit me. Come on. Did the did the game freeze? I don't no, it doesn't look like it froze on my end. Interesting. Okay. He just took a really long time to think if he wanted to attack or not. That's good. Okay. That's really good. Uh, let's go ahead and play that. I don't want to get rid of Unmarked Grave. Let's just discard a card and create a food token. To tap as Moran. Choose an Asmoran to keep. We'll keep this one. Yes, we'll use the ability. I just did it because I wanted another cookbook. See Rest in peace. When rest peace enters exile all graveyards if a card oh oh honey If a card or token would be put into a graveyard from anywhere, exile it instead. Oh no. Do I have something to fuck with this? I might not. I can't remember. Do I have something? <gasps> I do. I had the Phyrexian. I had the Phyrexian. He is taking forever here to figure out if he wants to do something or not. Let's 
let's see. If I can get the Phyrexian out and declare rest in peace. I think that'll let me just do the thing. I don't I don't know what's going on with this. There we go. Click OK. Another cookbook. Let's play that. Play this. Play that. Um and we'll just go. Right, get in all the damage I can. This is upsetting. Sword of Fire and Ice. Oh, how can you equip it, please? Oh, he must have had a floating mana. What does it allow him to do? Oh. It deals two damage to any target draw card, right? Yep. The Phyrexian, please. Target non basic land. Oh, I just want another body out there at this point. Begin combat. Just give protection from. Oh, from red and blue. Never mind. I can't even block with that. He's probably just going to destroy it. Which I guess is okay, unless he's going to go straight for face. No, he's not. Good. All right. Okay. Non-creatures. Okay, well, good thing I have creatures that I want to cast to mess with rest in pieces. Prevent all damage to the red source of your choice would deal this turn. Oh my goodness. Hmm. Creature or Planeswalker? It's sorcery speed, though. He has an equip, too. He's definitely got the mana. Oh, man. I feel like I have to destroy something. Let's make him spend mana, I guess. Cast with discard a card, I guess.
Hmm. Man, I am... I'm also sorry for making this go slow. Uh, I'm still trying to get used to this deck. Like I said, I'm, I'm practicing for my store's Modern Horizon, or Modern Horizon, oh my gosh, that's where most of these cards are from. I'm still practicing for my store's um, big 1K tournament. So I'm just trying to understand here what I can do. I'm looking up because it sounded like something was a uh, was a coming. Of course, he has another one. <laughs> oh, the consistency! I, I guess I guess if if they're pl paying lots of money for these decks. They should have some consistency, right? Sad I didn't get my thing to, to mess with rest in peace. Hmm. Protection from red. So let's block that one. Yeah. Yep. That's fine. I guess. I mean. Yeah. We just concede here. He had us. He, he's, he's got us. That's a heavy creature deck. Dang. All right. Well. That's our first modern game. Uh, I mean, for $10 on card hoarder, I feel like it kept up pretty well, right? We got them low. We just couldn't, we couldn't get our reanimate targets. And then the second game, he knew, he knew what was up. So, yeah, makes sense. Um, definitely want to say thanks, everybody, who's made it to this part of the video. If you have made it to this part of the video, please, 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 Leave the comment of the day being persist. Just just say persist down in the in the comments. Let me know you got here. Um, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, go ahead and uh, hit that subscribe button if this is your first time here. Um, really appreciate it. And I will talk to you all in the next video. Bye.